Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and look how lucky I am. Because Camera Girl is going to boil up some peanuts, you know, which is awesome. I like boiled peanuts. I just don't make them myself. She makes them. Her family makes them. Uh, but they're too much work for me. It takes too much time. And then you've got to shell the damn things, and they're so messy. But they have a great flavor. It's a, it's a nice snack. You know, once you start eating them, it's hard to stop. But Camera Girl was thrilled to find some green raw peanuts you know which is ideally what you want to use you can just use dried peanuts you know either one of those will work but don't use roasted uh, roasted peanuts have already been processed too much and they won't absorb the flavors when you boil them as readily as just dried peanuts or green peanuts but you know they're they're still dirty you know they got you know dirt on the outside of the shell so you want to make sure and wash them really well you know rinse them several times you know, they'll go moldy too. If you don't use them quickly, the uh, green peanuts, you know, they won't last for long, in the, even in the fridge. So make sure you go through, pick out any ones that look uh, questionable. And then we're going to go ahead and fill the pot up with water, you know, so that there's plenty of room for them to boil. Our pot's kind of small. We got like three pounds of peanuts here. So we're going to have to add water uh, to it as we go along. But make sure you got plenty of water for the peanuts to boil up. Then throw a lid on there and put it on high heat and bring it up to a roiling boil and then go ahead and reduce the heat you know make sure it's still bubbling but then go ahead cover it up leave it alone and let it cook for about two hours you know and at that point you know your peanuts are going to be soft but they're not going to have any flavor you could have added uh, salt and seasonings early on but camera girl likes to wait a couple hours before she does that you know they're nice and squishable right now but they don't have any flavor at all so we're going to add a lot of salt you know salt is the main seasoning in fact some people they just use salt camera girl's mom just uses salt but we like to throw some other things in there so we're going to put in a little bit of garlic and we're going to add some dried red peppers for heat and then we're all going also going to throw in some chili powder a lot of chili powder for seasonings you know some people put in uh uh, garlic powder or, or, or onion salt. A lot of people put in bay leaves or a pre-mixed Cajun seasoning. You know, whatever kind of seasoning you want. You can even put some hot sauce in here if you want or some sliced jalapenos. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and raise the heat up, get it bubbling again, and then we're going to reduce it, cover it up, and let it cook away for another half hour. And then that's it. You know, that's all the cooking we're going to do. Boom, we're going to get it off of the heat. And then we let it sit for about three or four or five, six hours. You can let it sit overnight if you want, you know, but it's done. At this point, you know, you can start eating away. Uh, well, you could have eaten away at any point, but now they're nice and soft and flavorful. You know, you can throw them in a, you know, drain them, put them in a Ziploc bag, throw them in the fridge, snack on them, you know. But they, they don't last for very long. Camera girl, she eats the hell out of these things. But the thing is, you know, you got you to gotta peel them just like this and eat them. And that's just too much work for me. Luckily uh, for me, she'll do all the work. But can you imagine buying these, you know, at a roadside stand and trying to eat these things in the car? You know, that's just going to mess up your clothes. <laughs> You know, I just, these things are just, I don't get them. I mean, I like them, but they're just too damn messy. But Camera Girl, she absolutely loves these things. You know, they're just a nice, soggy, salty snack. And if you've never had boiled peanuts, you know, go ahead and give them a try. You know, let me know what you think. And bon appetit, you know. It's a southern tradition. So if you're not from the south, this is a little bit of south in your mouth. So give it a go, man.